this the lone matchup in the conference here tonight. You hear them, the pitch faithful. They are alive and well in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and the tip goes to the home team. So Donovan Dent will bring it up for the Lobos. Again, winners of four straight in the Mountain West. They're really jiving at the right time after all those early season injuries they had to deal with. Yeah, they got everybody back healthy, and they're really playing well together, shooting it well, but it starts on the defensive end. That's where they are fantastic. Jalen House got it inside, but too tough for Nelly Jr. Joseph muscling down there, and it'll be Nevada's basketball. Here's the keys to the game. Yeah, and, and as I mentioned, you know, Nevada's got a ball control. They've got to slow this down. Dictate tempo is the second part of that. New Mexico, it's all about this house. And Jalen House, they got to roll, get the crowd into it. Sometimes these games can be won or lost in the first 10 minutes. Blackshear up too hot, hard off the glass, and it's going to be a Lobo rebound. One of the best rebounding teams in the conference. Dent loses the ball, but right to his teammate in Mashburn Jr. And Jamal Mashburn gets the score and started here for the Lobos. Lobos putting that early pressure on. They want to dictate the pace of this game. You're going to see one of the fastest teams in the country based on Ken Palm ratings, the fifth fastest in the Lobos. Nevada, they're going to want to try and slow it down as much as they can. Yeah, and this is what they like to do. They get it into their point guard. This is not like normal point guards. He's almost as big as a power forward. That's his shot. Great defense right there by Dent. How about that defense getting right in Blackshear's face? And right away on the other end, Jalen House draining a three. And that'll get the crowd going. This man, Jalen House, has more energy, I think, than anyone in college basketball. As long as he stays out of foul trouble, he is a force to be reckoned with, an energizer bunny, if you will, on the hardwood. Jenny, you said it. Big thing for him is not to get in foul trouble. He's guarding Lucas, who's an absolute flamethrower. Misses that one, but he's got to stay out of foul trouble. Nevada crashing the glass early here in the offensive glass. That's good news, something they've been working on, trying to get some more rebounds. Inside is Nick Davidson. We throw it off the glass too hard. Mashburn dribbles under the basket and out to Den. Get inside and power it up and in. Nelly Jr. Joseph making his presence known. Well, and that was Donovan Dent, the terrific sophomore right off of the pick and roll. He's one of the best pick and roll players in the country, and you see him right here make the right read, the easy read that time to Nelly. Craig Coleman picked up the foul, so an and one opportunity coming Nelly Jr. Joseph's way. Here was the play right there. You can see that pick and roll. Easy little one-hand pass, and that's where he is at his best in those PNRs. Excuse me, it's KJ Himes, so his first. And we're missing the opportunity for a three-point conversion. Seven-nothing Lobos. Nevada has their work cut out for them here in the first half. Pressure's on for New Mexico's defense. Top to Himes. And he'll turn the ball over, but last touched by the Lobos. Well, and, and you can see right away just the pressure giving Nevada trouble and you know a lot of football on today Nevada is a little bit like a run team like they want they want to slow it down use their power inside right now the fast Lobos are winning this and you know run teams don't like to play from behind so I think it's critical Nevada's got to stay close right here big shot here yeah with just single digits on the shot clock Lucas threw one up and New Mexico looks to continue their run on this possession inside and muscling too hard the fight belongs to the Wolfpack. Nice feed inside, good look, but off the hands of Himes, and it is a turnover. You look at this series history between these two schools. We mentioned a lot of it belongs to Nevada. The Wolfpack, uh, they've owned nine straight, eight of those under Steve Alford, 14 and seven all time. And last season, a nail biter here. It was a last second shot by Keenan Blackshear that ended up winning the game for Nevada. Three and good. How about J.T. Toppin, the phenomenal freshman? And that's going to be a timeout for Nevada. A 10-0 run to 
start the game for the Lobos. Yeah, they're off and running. And Toppin, as you mentioned, one of the best freshmen, probably the best in the Mountain West on the other side. Did not made a field goal without a score. Oh, and five shooting from the floor. The pressure's been on so far tonight for the Lobos. And they'll back it up with Blackshear bringing it up. Blackshear, not a traditional point guard. This is a guy that learned that position because of injury last year. Well, he does such a great job. He's 6'6". Six, six. I think he's listed at 220. I think he's more like 230. And that's his shot right there. Surprised he didn't pull the trigger on that one. But maybe he gets it here on the right side on the block or mid-range. That's where he's effective. Five on the shot clock. Got a shoot. And off the rim, an offensive board, but then turning it over. So Davidson throws it right into the hands of the Lobos. And Mashburn on a long look at a three, passes it off to House, and he misses. Those two have been quite a tandem in Jamal Mashburn Jr. and Jalen House. Coleman backing it in out to Davidson, and a long three attempt from Lucas in and out. Nevada's been on the offensive glass, but they just can't seem to get a bucket to fall. Now, usually not a great offensive or even any defensive rebound. They haven't been great at that this year, but a solid job early. Getting some good looks because of it. Wow, Coleman underneath, and he found a flying Keenan Blackshear, who is fouled, and he'll have free throws coming up. Maybe they can get a bucket that way at the line. It has been all in New Mexico so far at the pit up 10 to nothing. Over to Beth. Best step back in the good nation right one. there. Man, it's her shot sweet. Well, hopefully for Keenan Blackshear, it's going to be a sweet shot at the free throw line as Nevada finally scores 15-28 on the clock here in the first half. He has just gotten better and better every year. That's unbelievable, just the, the work he puts in. We talked to him. I thought he made an interesting comment. He said the best players are the smartest players. Talk to us today at Shoot Around, and he watches a ton of tape. So that's one of the reasons he's gotten better. Mustafa Amsil in the game for the Lobos. He's been really good off the bench for Richard Patino. And a fight for the ball, a jump ball with Fierro belonging the other way. So Nevada is going to have an opportunity to try and build some sort of run. And a whole lot right there. Did not see much. So the players dispersed out, and they'll get set up here with Trey Coleman throwing the ball in. Ashburn Jr. on the ball, and no pressure there. He will be the first to score a field goal. Now, this is where Nevada, though, likes it. They can slow the game down here, get into their offensive sets, half-court sets, what they're usually terrific at. is going to pick up his first foul. And you'll hear the Boo Birds come out here at the pit. Now, Coach Patino, I thought it was interesting today watching him and shoot around. He ran a lot of sets that they would run in this game. So it's just interesting to me on shoot rounds, all the different things. They didn't shoot around for a long time, but a lot of sets that they would use in this game, they went about 80%. True Washington checked in after Amstel picked up the foul. Now, this is Blackshear right here. I think he should just turn and post. An off ball screen, so that's going to go on Daniel Foster for Nevada. Donovan Dent bringing the ball up for the Lobos. And here they come with that high ball screen. Let's watch Donovan here, just how good he is in that set. Just floats right over the top of the defense, and that's not easy to do. Nick Davidson, six foot nine. That's right, and we've seen him now make a couple passes to help his teammates. That time he took care of himself. He is unbelievably good in that pick and roll. One of the best I've seen all year. All starters for the Lobos have now scored a bucket and the fadeaway no good for Lucas, but yet another offensive board for Nevada. That's four. We're getting second chance opportunities and Blackshear looking to feed 
Passing it around. Coleman nails. How about Trey Coleman finally <laughs> making the first field goal for the Lobos here? Six and a half minutes into the game almost. Yeah, and he's been on a heater on Coleman has. He's shot it really well, played really well the last couple weeks. Dent almost threw the ball away, but saved by True Washington. Seal with three, and he got fouled. So Davidson is going to send him to the line. Well, Jenny, here's that Dent off the pick and roll. He gets a taller guy on him, but he's so good. You mentioned the size there, and now we see Coleman. Great job by Blackshear, I think it was, to find Coleman and the quick release. You got to play confidently in these opposing gyms. Coleman, a nice job there. They needed that one. Mustafa Amsil scored just seven points against San Jose State, but the previous four, all double figures off the bench for him, averaging a little over nine in Mountain West play. Now he was in a he was in a baseball player slump for a while in the non-con. And it was interesting they told us that he, he took a three in during that big slump and it hit the rim about seven times. He saw it go in and for some reason he's been magic ever since really shooting the ball well and after his heart stopped then he came yeah. back to life on the whole thing so he makes all three free throws and it's 15 to 5. 4 of 31 in his first 16 games from three now 6 of 11 in his last four so he's really feeling it Hunter McIntosh the Elon transfer transferred last year for his first season with Nevada for the Wolfpack just see something the, going off the bench, just a little spark. Yeah, and I think that was a good move by Coach Alford. However, you get Blackshear not in the game. Where do they go for scoring? Obviously, you have Lucas out there. Three on the shot clock. He's going to have to throw it up, and he wow. does. How about you throw up a prayer, and it finally falls for Jared Lucas. That was a crazy shot. He can make hard shots, as we've seen over the years. Not afraid at all to take them. 45th three-pointer made, and on the other end, Three-point opportunity. Jamal Mashburn Jr. comes down hard, makes the bucket, and he'll head to the line. Now we see here Lucas in trouble right there, but able to shoot over the smaller house on that three. Now here's the one right now with Mashburn and Mashburn a lot. Such a great mid-range uh, player as we always talk about. Gets to the rim, six-two, but able to finish among taller guys. That nice little up and under with the spin. Mashburn can just flat out score. Scores mentality. Like his dad. Absolutely. He has some good family lineage. Climbs inside, puts the moves on, falls short, an offensive board. He gets stripped. Ball's loose. Couple of jerseys going at it. And a whistle, the college jump ball. Gonna go the Lobos way. Just a fight to find the basketball. Well, one of the things I love about the Mountain West Conference is how physical this conference is. They're as physical as anybody. They play hard. It's a gritty conference. You go on the road, as you know, Jenny, in this conference. You better bring it some of the hardest places to play in the country. Mashburn hands it off to Jalen House. Over the top, I'm still underneath. No go to work, too far under. Finds house and a floater up. Yeah, not a shot he probably practices a lot, but the confidence he has. He's a guy that is afraid of nothing, fearless player. Like his pops, by the way. A, a, a lot of dad sons in this ballgame tonight. Connections. McIntosh drives in, fade away. And it'll be a board for New Mexico. Mushila grabs the rebound. And on the other end. Hunter, well, when you look at the active coaches, he's sitting at 11, Steve Alford is. 673 wins. Pretty impressive. The job that he's done, every single stop that he's had, and really you see the RMK on his jer or on his uh, shirt that he's wearing. Robert Montgomery Knight is what that stands for. The late Bobby Knight, of course, his mentor, former coach at Indiana, 
And his dad was his high school coach, so he had some great mentors in his life. As Mashburn Jr. comes out, and he's now at six. Yeah, pretty amazing. We talked to him. He said he learned from his dad all the hard work in the gym and to play in the gym like it was a game time when they practiced. He learned from Bob Knight. He said all the film sessions and strategy and preparation. Back chair shoots over the Lobos and no good. So cold Nevada. They were shooting just 16% from the floor going into that timeout. Inside and a nice of feed. He's got a giddy up from Jamal Mashburn Jr. as he finds his friend Nelly Jr. Joseph. And Nelly is just getting good position. That's all it is. That was pretty simple and then able to finish because he's big and was right on the block. Did his work early. Black shares missed all three shots he's taken. From the corner for three, no good. As McIntosh misses. Good job by Nevada getting back. A great possession defensively for them. That's how they're going to have to get back in this. That is a team the last couple games that have shot over 50%. They just beat Colorado State. That snapped a three game losing streak for them. They rely so heavily on their defense, and right now they would just love any basket to fall, and they cannot buy a bucket. You know, Blackshear is so unselfish. I think he's got to get himself maybe more looks right here down. That's 23 to 8. Ashburn Jr. with the dump off. Nelly Jr. Joseph. They're going to wave off the shot. As Tony Padilla blew the whistle going to be on Isaac Mushila. I'm, I'm not sure what the call was. I don't, I don't really see anything there. Oh, three, it had to be three seconds because there's really nothing else that could happen. Hey, he did his work early, real early. <laughs> so that's the third turnover. And off the ball whistle. And that's going to go on Nelly Jr. Joseph. Well, that's a tough call too. Just being physical right there and again in this league Those are the kind of plays you see pretty much standard every possession Three fouls for New Mexico to the five fouls for Nevada Pope Can't get it anywhere near the rim and how about KJ Himes that was almost a frustration dunk of let's score some points and find a way to get back in this. I'll tell you what, they are fighting on the offensive glass. I think Steve Alford, the game plan coming in, as much as you want to get back on defense against New Mexico, I think they saw an opportunity to get some boards on the glass, and they've done that. Mashburn inside to JT Toppin. Back to Mashburn on the left wing. He's going to drive the floater up with the rebound and put back by Nelly Jr. Joseph. Well, no one gets a body on him, and he's just too big and strong, tall, and crazy athletic right there for a big man. Got to get a body on him if you're Nevada. From Mexico up to 15. Well, now, who do they look to for offense here? I think that's good to get it to Trey because they don't have Lucas or Blackshear in right now. That's the scrappy Lobo stripping the ball, and on the other end, lose the ball. So trading turnovers, and all the way going coast to coast is Tyler Rollison. And how good a job did he do getting his body into the New Mexico defender that enabled him to get that easy deuce? He's going to play his first game of the season against CSU, and coming off the bench here, Providing a much needed spark for Nevada. Nice feed wide open, missing the dunk, but a whistle. So Tylen Pope fouled, he'll head to the line, and Nevada's in this. Hey, they got their two leading scores out. Guys off the bench for Duck. Mexico to really gamble. They can overcommit if they get beat. They've got two big guys inside that can block shots. Tylen Pope shooting a free throws for Nevada. Out of the timeout again, the foul was on JT Toppin, so that's two on the freshman. Could make a difference in this game when you talk about some of those star players. Well, you got Blackshear 
and Lucas back in for Nevada. Nice job by the bench for Nevada there for just that quick minute or two. They really did a nice job. Offensive rebound, hustled, made some plays, got to the rim there, got a foul, scored another bucket. So giving a little rest to the other guys. They don't have a super deep bench, and in this altitude with this pace, I think good job by Steve Alford to give those guys a break. House flying in. He got blocked. It looks like Coleman got a hand on it. And the other way, here come the Wolfpack. Blackshear laying it in. How sweet did that look live just in front of us. Really under control. You can see how good or how big he is in that size using effectively. Hey, if no one stops the ball, take that all the way to the rim. After starting so slow, Nevada has made three of their last three field goal attempts. And from the corner wide open is Jamal Baker. Well, Nevada went zone right there, and New Mexico went right after it. And Baker comes off the pitch. Has not played a lot lately, but I'll tell you what, this kid can absolutely get hot, hotter than anybody in this gym. Clock issue as the shot clock didn't start there. That block down on one end, it just transitions Pitt, of course, his third season at New Mexico. But he has one special guest, and that is St. John's coach Rick Patino. It's really cool. We got the chance to meet him and have a conversation with him at shoot around. But whenever you see a father and a son together, yeah. they're not talking about basketball, they're just happy to be in each other's presence. 100%. And it's hard to do during basketball season, but St. John's schedule allowed it this weekend. It was really cool. And by the way, I'm going to throw this out. You were a Kentucky fan a long time ago, so that was a pretty big deal for you. It was a really big deal. As Nevada turns the ball over here, and it'll go the Lobos' way. I was. It's funny. Growing up in Colorado, my grandma left Kentucky. She was the oldest of nine left and gave me my love for basketball. So grew up in the Rick Pitino, Kentucky era. We talked about some of those championship games. We talked about Arizona, your alma mater, oh, yeah, beating yeah. him in 97. I, I had to bring it up, you know. I had you to bring did. it up. You did. But, you Wildcats. But he was Crazy great. Wildcats. He was great to talk to. And, and by the way, talk basketball. He, the games had an unbelievable memory. Junior Joseph laying one in. Again, he's just, when, when guys are penetrating, he's making a beeline to that right for the restricted areas. And he's so big, good hands. And he's able to finish pretty much some easy buckets inside because of his work that he does before that. Nelly Jr. Joseph leads all scores with eight points here in the contest. A little over six to go in the first half. Outside, Davidson one dribble in the handoff. Hard to believe that Jared Lucas doesn't have a point. And now Nick Davidson involved with his first bucket. And it was a great job by Davidson just to cut to the middle when they were passing on the perimeter. Jalen House got it, got knocked right out by Rollison. And I'll tell you, House has been the most disruptive defensive player in the entire conference all year. I think he has a great chance right now, the defensive player of the year in the Mountain West. But an interesting matchup for him because it's a little bit harder for him to really impose his will like he does most games on the defensive end because Nevada kind of controls pace, which they have done at times tonight. Lucas wanted the chase to the ball, then House, just that tough defense, is stripping it, and it's going to go the way of the Lobos. And House just told me, no, Matt, no, I can I can still get out here if they're controlling pace. By the way, they're going on a break. I will steal it and get it right back off the guy's knee. That's how good I am. He just shows up, right? Like, yep. you think he's out of the play, and he just shows up. The motor is absolutely 100 all the time for Jalen House. It up to top in, and that got knocked out of bounds by Coleman. So got to play some tight defense the last couple possessions, and Hunter McIntosh checking back in. That'll send Rollison to the bench for Steve Alford's team. You know, House reminds me of a little bit a guy that played at Arizona, TJ McConnell, who plays for the Indiana Pacers. He disrupts games in the NBA. He's not a huge guy. House isn't super tall. He could, I think he could have a future kind of like a T.J. McConnell. One on the shot clock, and Dent threw it up as it expired, and J.T. Toppin coming up with an offensive board put back. Just too much size inside, and I'll say it again, a little redundant, but the guards for New Mexico are fantastic. These big men, I'm really impressed seeing them live here in the pit. We talk about an elite rim protector. That's is right next to the name of J.T. Toppin. 
Kicked out McIntosh, but it was a whistle. Dent will pick up the foul. Now here's top in, on this one. And you can see right here, he just does a good job on the position. Actually, Davidson gets in there, but he's just stronger, taller, bigger. And by the way, only a freshman. Oh, that was Lucas, sorry. So, obviously had the size advantage there. And there's Lucas, got the ball tipped on the release. Look at House. Look at him go. He is, he is fun to watch. Unbelievable. When you look at Jalen House, getting this crowd right into this thing. Jalen say something to to uh, Jared before maybe to get you know get his ire up a little bit like that. We were just Listen, those two there. go way back to the Pac-12. Like let's remember that's these right. Are, these are two of those kind of players that went to big schools in the Pac-12. ASU for Jalen House. Oregon State for Jared Lucas. They, they played against each other for a long time. They played a lot of games against each other. I actually asked Lucas, I said, would would House talk to you? Because House talks to everybody. He's he's like, yeah, a little bit, but we've played so much together. It's not like I don't feel like he wants to get in my head as normal. And so, but something might have happened to provoke that. But uh, I think right call and Nevada back to the zone. Mashburn dribbling through the Wolf Pack. Hands it off to House and a foul. Out of bounds, out of bounds. Right there by Jalen, I think. Tell you what, his dad is not here. Loved watching his dad play at Arizona State. Coach Patino right there loves all the pressure that House brings, but you know, his dad was such a prolific scorer. The all-time leading scorer at ASU and well, Jalen can get it going offensively, but this is where he's at his best, guarding the ball. I, I would not want to bring it up with him. The greatest on-ball defender I ever, ever played against was Greg Anthony from UNLV in college, and I think Jalen House is, is right in that territory. Off-ball whistle on Pope. That'll be his first. That has now turned the ball over eight times. And you can just see next level pressure for them. Yeah, Nevada averages about a little over nine turnovers a game. I think that's a good point. They don't turn it over much at all. I mean, they've been really good with the ball, and that's why they've been able to win in this arena. Wow. Coming through his poke. So picks up a foul on one end. Right. And a huge defensive stop on the other. He's played with a ton of energy since he's been in. Look where he was. When he went up for that block, he was inside or under the net and covered an amazing amount of ground. Great hustle and athleticism. Mashburn will use the screen. Eight on the shot clock. That's where Mashburn can work right there. That pull-up is deadly. It is wow. a funny. Jamal Mashburn Jr. with eight. Mid-range mash at it again. 36-17, and House going for the steal. Look at this. Keeps it in, oh, he and he did step out. So Padilla, with a late whistle there, calls him out of bounds. But, man, Look he has this. got this crowd rocking wow. at the pit. Well, this is where Mashburn is so good. This pull-up is lethal. Watch how quick he goes up right there to shoot it over the taller Davidson. I mean, that is not an easy shot. Davidson about 6'9". Here comes that almost steal where he steps on. Gets the ball. I mentioned Greg Anthony. Man, he's got some of a lot of the same sort of traits that he has. He just gets right up in you, moves his feet, tenacious, never gives up. That was the fourth steal of the day for Jalen House. He's moved into third all-time on New Mexico's steals list. And, and look what he's doing to everybody else. The, the, the entire team feels right now like they go, they want to go for a steal. You can see right here was this M seal coming from the other side. Look at this. Just hustle, getting after it. May got a little body there. It's be nine on the shot clock when the ball is thrown in. And Davidson over to Coleman. And an off-ball whistle. So Blackshear and Washington got tied up down low. And True Washington will pick up his first. I wonder if they run the same play out of bounds right here. What they do is they try to get it up top. They have a screen that brings uh, Blackshear back to that right block right now. Uh, Look at that. Turn it over before they get there, but they're trying to get Blackshear the ball on the post and let him go to work. And then 
another Lobo hand got in the mix to right. disrupt the offense of the Wolfpack. That time, Nelly Jr. Joseph, that hedging, he does such a good job of that. Great call. Look at this. Like, they're having problems even getting the ball in bounds on the sideline. Black share nice over Coleman. He'll go baseline. And on the floor, they call the whistle, but that'll be one and one as it's New Mexico's seventh foul. Well, nice job, I thought, by Coleman not settling for the three right there. Blackshear found him with the cross court. And that's the other thing with Blackshear. No matter who guards him, or even if he gets doubled, he's so good on the doubles because he's so tall, and he can see all the way across the court. Mustafa Amstil picked up his second as Trey Coleman will shoot the one-on-one -on -one bonus. Make for him four points for the senior from Indiana. All Mountain West defensive team last year. Yeah, he's, he's in the mix for defensive player of the year. I don't think, I mean, I'm, I'm going to say for sure, he's not ahead of Jalen House. However, he's in the mix. He's in the top three or four in the conference for sure. Coleman on House now as he brings the ball up. Has to split the Nevada defenders. Wide open in the corner. I'm still for three. In and out, just over the rim. Coleman with the dribble inside. Himes. Trying to work over Nelly Jr. Joseph kicks it out. Nice recovery right there. We have not heard much from Jared Lucas today. You Coleman see what New baseline. Mexico? New Mexico does such a good job of not switching when they don't need to. That's going to be a travel call. So KJ Himes turns the ball over. And again, if you look at the turnovers, nine. It's amazing what they do. Watch Jalen House right here. A lot of teams will switch this. They get lazy. No, he sticks with it right there to stay on Lucas, and they get back to their man. They want to keep those matchups that they think are the best matchups on D. 17-point lead for the Lobos. I like this move by Alford here just to mix it up a little bit. They need to maybe slow it down, mix it up. House tried the no-look pass, and... Ends up on the floor in a scramble. The Wolfpack coming up with it. Lucas wide open, and he got it. That's a layup for Lucas right there. Absolute layup. Big bucket for Jared Lucas to keep his team in this one. Well, we'll see if Lucas can kind of get going right there. The guy that I called... That he has been in single digits so far this year, and right now he's trying to get over the hump and get something going for this Wolfpack here. In New Mexico. Well, well, when when Lucas and Blackshear don't score together, I mean, they they almost need to get 20 a night each. They really have problems scoring, so it's really incumbent on both of those. They gotta they gotta light it up every night. Dent picks up the dribble and stepped over the line. So that trap by Nevada working at the half court. Not easy to see those lines sometimes with the logo, but a good call. So 116 to go with Nevada trying to build a little spark going into halftime. Yeah, and I guess this is the time we have to say as announcers, if they can get it under 10, that's the key, right? Black Shear all the way and in. Well, able to finish through contact. That's the definition of it. Black Shear gets knocked down. Wanted the foul on that play. Probably had a good argument. I say guys go hard through the lane. He almost floats through the lane sometimes. Good call. It's really nice. Coming up short for Washington. You can cut this to 10 as we just talked about. Blackshear handing it off. Coleman oh, driving in and Ooh. a great spin that got tipped. Now Nelly saw the spin. He anticipated. He knew he could get that weak side block. Oh my goodness. What a finish on the other end for Nelly Jr. Joseph. Now that, that seemed like a big change right there. You had Nevada that was maybe getting it to 10. Now it's back up to 14. Looking here for the last shot. Joseph in double figures at 10. Under 10 to go here in the half. Blackshear over Washington. Doesn't get the fall. And Washington have the ball in his hands. But the buzzer fires the half before a shot gets up. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. That was that was a display, defensive display. Turnovers could come back to haunt him here too. Yeah, the turnovers, but the reason for what you just said on percentage, points in the paint. Nevada has just been, I'm sorry, New Mexico has just been a little bigger and stronger in the paint. Those two bigs for the Lobos, I've been really impressed with. What do you think the messaging was from Steve Alford at the half? Well, I think it's, out of here. Yeah, it's a great question. I think it's the little things, right? Get the ball into the post. They have right there, no turnovers, right? Play solidly, and that was not a good example of it right now. That's just Jalen House making some noise, and then his buddy Jamal Mashburn Jr. gets in the mix with the three. Well, and then that leads to a bucket because the Lobos can kind of play free after the steal. You cannot dictate dictate pace. And it just feels like this Nevada offense, another one right there, an illegal screen. We're going to call that on Himes. That'll be his second. And this is just a post play right there, but deflections. Look at Jalen House. That's his defense right there, and then the bucket right there. Nash doesn't always shoot a lot of threes, but he can shoot it from that distance. The mid-range guy has some some uh, uh, length on that jumper. And Ashburn's feeling it today. He's made five of the six shot attempts. This is his first three, 11 points. For Jamal Ashburn Jr. Jalen House in the corner, dribbles into the paint, kicks out. They'll go back in. Melly Jr. Joseph had a lot of success in the paint in the first half and just continues the trend here in the second. That's textbook right there. He just uses his body, the drop step into the lane. And when you get really, what what is that, A uh, about a one-footer right there? Or as our guy Steve Lavin used to say, a zero-footer often. I don't think it was a zero-footer, but just terrific post move. Lucas Coleman on the left wing. He'll drive into the paint, floater up. Nowhere near, but Himes trying to clean it up and gets a foul. It's going to be on Toppin, and you're looking at three now for JT Toppin. And then look at that position. Right foot is inside the restricted area. The jet, nice little spin. There's the drop step with the right foot. You finish with the left. Like I said, that's 101. Pete Newell, the, the late Pete Newell, the great big man coach, he would have taught that a long time ago, and beautiful move. KJ Himes knocks down a free throw. The grad senior from Phoenix played for Eric Musselman. That's how long he's been around campus there in Reno. Wow. And believe it or not, he has Good another note. year of eligibility he if he wants go. to come back. <laughs> Four points for KJ Himes. 43-26. Looks like an uphill battle here for the Wolfpack. It's like a wide open feed and the Lobos turn the ball over. It's Jamal Mashburn Jr points to his chest. He gave the old my bad. Well, well, let's see if Nevada can just get Blackshear and Lucas involved. They had nine points at halftime. They need 20 really each, I mean, 20 collectively for each half where Nevada needs to be. So they're going to have to get aggressive on the offensive end. This offense has looked, dare I say, bum-fizzled sometimes during this game. And right there, once again, another miss. Blackshear only had 12 points last matchup here in Albuquerque last year, but had the buzzer beater, and right there, Mashburn Jr. gets fouled. You see right there, get in the lane, easy call. Able to draw the foul. That's Coleman's first. 85% free throw shooter will head to the line. A three-time captain now. For Jamal Mashburn Jr., pretty cool when you think about the relationship of being at Minnesota, coming to New Mexico, following Richard Patino. But we got to talk to Rick Patino today about his dad. Of course, Jamal Mashburn played at Kentucky. What a stud back in the early 90s. And they've been into biz in business together for a long time, for decades. So you're right. thinking about these families and how close they are. Right. Really cool stories. And Jamal Mashburn has been unbelievably successful as an ex NBA player, obviously very successful in the NBA, but what he's done as an entrepreneur, a businessman, optimizing that money he made in the NBA, great job by him. Sure brings it up, Lucas over to Coleman. Just looking for anyone to get hot. Lucas fires off the three, that's off the mark. Dent pushes it up, Jalen House stops and pops for three, and it's an air ball. Jalen will have a couple air balls every once in a while. He gets 
like I said, he can be hot or cold. And it's just part of his game. And then he'll knock down three in a row. That's what you get with that pace. As soon as he touches the ball, it doesn't matter where he's at on the court. If crossed half court, he's ready to fire. Now they're up 18, and I don't see any slowdown in them at all. They're not going to work clock. It just inside to Davis. He goes with a little left hook. That's a nice move right there, using the lefty. Davidson's been pretty quiet today, too. And how about that move on the other end for Donovan Dent? Well, we talk about Dent and the pick and roll, but one of the reasons he's so good at pick and roll is the, the ability to finish as not a real tall guard, about 6'2", right there, but in traffic to be able to that little kind of Euro step that he got the extra look there. Grimes found a nice offensive rebound and put back. He's at six. He's working hard. He, he, you can see right now Nevada thinks they have something. They, they've been pretty good on the uh, offensive rebounds. And there's a turnover, so Nevada looking to capitalize here. I think if you're Nevada, you've got to work that inside presence. They just saw it from Davidson. They saw it in the cleanup from Himes. You've Toppin sitting down there who has three fouls. And to your point right there, they get a couple passes right inside, but they throw it outside. They had a good look. I would like to, to your point, I'd like to see him go up with that one. Lucas has two on the shot clock, fires one off, hits the rim, and gets knocked around the Lobo's way. Three are wide open, and dead with the exclamation point. Wow. The one-handed slam from Donovan Dent. He's got some hops, Dent does. I wasn't sure if he was going to flush it. With three on oh, I thought he might just lay it in and take it easy. No, he wants to get the crowd going at the pit. You know how to make 15,021 fans happy? And be your friend, do that. Big he shot here. Rocking in here. And then Coleman with another opportunity. So those offensive boards have been working to the favor of Nevada. Yeah, that's really been the, the one positive for them. Himes again on that one. 48-32 lead for the Lobos. Dent tries to throw one up, then a whistle. That is going to be on Davidson. He was trying to argue all ball. Well, this is the first. Look at House. Feeling it in this yeah. building as a broadcaster for the first time, but you felt it when your number one Arizona Wildcats <laughs> got yeah. upset here. Yeah, I don't want to remind up, you of the year or anything, but if you no, want to was, throw it out there. No, it was a great game. 1988, January 2nd. We were 12-0, and 0, had not lost. Number one in the country for the first time. Back then, it was 18,100. And right there, Hunter Green was playing in that game, and he blocked Sean Elliott to really seal the game right at the end. Sean was taking the three. We lost that game. I think it really helped our team to play in such a crazy environment. And you talk about the pit, you know, 37 feet in, into the soil. And I mean, just, just an incredible. I remember Gary Colson, the coach, was carried off. Luke Longley and Rob Leffel did that. First foul on Jalen House, Jalen House, a check foul. It was interesting, also with Rick Patino being here, he was mentioning that you know, his Louisville team in 2005, they won the Elite Eight game here at the pit to That's advance right. to the Final Four. To to so. the Final Four. Well, I go back, you know, when I was really getting into basketball, 1983, the Final Four, Jim Valvano in the pit wins the title. To me, that was the game that really cemented this as one of the great, great venues in college basketball. Absolutely special. Daniel Foster with points. He was out in foul trouble, usually comes off the bench for a big spark, big rebounder. I love Nevada. Foster's game. Yeah, he is, he's one of the great bench players in this league, like you said. Incredible rebounding numbers per his minutes played. So Mashburn playing catch up top, and there's going to be a foul off ball as Hunter McIntosh picks up his second against Omsiel. Well, this guy averages five rebounds, only plays, I mean, 15, 17 minutes a game, but he, he's strong, he's physical, not afraid at all, a terrific bench player. Not score at all against Colorado State, but to your point, pulled down six rebounds. Ashburn Jr. finally misses. That's how it feels. Yeah, he's, he's got a mid-range stroke that's as good as anybody. Fun to watch him play. Three. No good, and there's that rebounding skill of Foster coming oh. into play, but a big block. Oh, he gets up. I didn't know. Oh, here we go. Once again. Okay. Get some noise here. He gets up easy too. It doesn't take him a lot of work. That was just a couple steps after the steal or after the block, and that was all him right there. 
And he has blossomed this year. Looking like a block turned to a dunk. Davidson leaves it short. And credit the Lobos. They've been playing fantastic defense. Well, not many guys can get out there as a 6-2 point guard. By the way, Dent has 13 blocks on the season. That's incredible for a 6-2 guy. And then to throw it down and flush it like that. Woo! It's David Foster's third foul. Into Jalen House and back up top. Dominic Dent behind the back. This time he just goes for the layup and he misses. And Nelly Jr. Joseph with his second foul. So a couple quick fouls slowing things down here. 13.25 to go in the game. on Rollison to Foster Nevada work in the perimeter Rollison looking underneath they had nothing nine on the shot clock for Coleman he attacks and then lost the basketball but it went off the Lobos nice job there by I think it was Washington did a really nice job not allowing Coleman to get to the rim there's a look at Craig Neal, of course, took over for Steve Alford here at New Mexico. Spent a couple seasons before they rejoin in Nevada, and there's a dunk from Nick Davidson. A nice job by McIntosh to find him. Not an easy pass. Hard to stay patient when you're down by double digits. And the Lobos turning it over. It's 10 turnovers now. For New Mexico. So you look at the 11 for Nevada, 10 for the Lobos. But these teams average right around 9 and 10. Behind the back and a drive, but Dent got another hand on it, and with a whistle, it looks like he pulled a foul on True Washington. I thought he got him in there on the arm. On that pull up right there by Rollison. Let's see. Yep. Got him right where the uh, that thing on his left forearm is. That was a good call. Two on Donovan Dent, and that sends Rollison to the line. Rollison's had a nice game tonight. Really played well. Giving them good minutes. The fifth highest recruit that Nevada's ever got to come to Reno. Los Angeles product went to St. Bernard High School. You know, you look up right now, Jenny, and he makes this. They're only down 13. You know, it feels like it's maybe 19 or 20. So, not a Herculean effort to get back into it, but a big effort if they can do it. But they look up right there, and they're within distance. A little over 12 to go. They're looking for a big stop here. Three ball from Washington. That's off the mark in good position for Tyler Rollison. Rollison finding space, throws up the jumper, and the ball got knocked right back to the Wolfpack. McIntosh for three. A miss there, and the Lobos all come crashing in. Omsil double team down below. Washington up top to Dent. A couple Nevada players waiting to check in. Nine on the shot clock for Jalen House. Fires a three. Omsil with an offensive board leaves it short on the return. And got back to the ground. A lot of contact there. They let that let them play. Blackshear to the corner. Right back inside. Davidson to the other corner. McIntosh for three, and he got it. And he missed that last one. I thought it was huge. That was a great one there to get this thing back to ten. They are within striking distance the bench. That's 23 threes now for McIntosh on the season. Answering on the other end with the jumpers, Jalen House. Now that was not an easy shot. Nevada had a little momentum right there. A little mid-ranger. Got the crowd back in it. 
Oh. All the way in a block by the call on the whistle. That's going to bring out the booze once again. Well, New Mexico, when they get rolling and they get on the break, you see the dunks. I think you got to look at the New Mexico players. Um, and obviously, clean Keenan Blackshear is in that. But when you look at New Mexico, it's almost a, a trifecta of people because you've got Jalen, you've got Donovan, you've got Mashburn. Blackshear missing the free throw as a team. They shoot 71%. That's right in the middle of the pack in the Mountain West. Just a 64% shooter for Blackshear. Makes the second. He's at seven. Well, that's the one area I think he can improve on a bit. I think he's a better shooter than those percentages show. Lobo's working it around. Mashburn back to house. Over to the left wing. And Washington missing the three. So Blackshear grabs it in. And they are looking to score here and try and cut this to single digits. A slow pass, they get the ball back, and Pope goes in for the slam! How about that to give your team some energy? How good has Pope also been off the bench tonight? And that play was key because they tried to get the steal, I think it was Amsel, and he, when he did not get the steal, that opened it up for Pope and the lane to the flush inside. Nine-point game now. Last time it was a single-digit lead. It was back at the 12.42 mark in the first half. Trying to change that and back to a double-digit lead thanks to the stroke of Drew Washington. I think this guy's a really good young player. He misses the shot before. Now Blackshear on the attack. Yeah, Blackshear can't get it to fall on the other end. And I think that was a little bit because Washington has really good size. House throws up a three, and Washington will take his assist. How fast did they just turn this game? You were talking about single digits. All of a sudden, it's 15. They could have brought that maybe to seven. Nevada calling that timeout. 59-44. Back to a double-digit lead. Throwing them down. Jams here at the pits. House. Look at the guard play. That's what we highlighted at the top of this contest. Lucas, Blackshear, just a combined four of 18. So, really, they're not getting the job done on offense. We can see that. And for Blackshear, it feels a lot like it did last year in a way, except for he was the one making the big shot at the buzzer. Right now, Nevada trailing by 15. Look at, that, look at that ball defense right there by House. You know, interesting, though, we talked about Lucas had 28 last year in this arena. That was a good look for him, one he usually knocks down. Another good offensive board. Jalen House has done a really good job on Lucas tonight. Last last year, Lucas got the best of House. Let's, let's put it that way, 28. House has been the, the key, though, tonight. Nevada out-rebounding the Lobos 28-24, to and that's not an easy task to do, but it's just not showing up on the offensive end. Lucas, Lucas got to keep shooting, though. Lucas with the feed, and Pope, how about the reverse? You see how Lucas put his body in the house right there? Just, if you don't do that, house is going to steal it again, and then the nice cut baseline. The other thing, Nevada gets to the line a lot normally. It's one of the things that they're really good at, their strength. They have not gotten to the free throw line as much as normal tonight. I'm still for three, and nothing but net draining it for Mustafa Amsil. Seven made threes for New Mexico. Chair going to his right, comes back, and kisses it off the glass. So, Keenan Blackshear involved here. That's what you need. And, and I liked what he did there. He just slowed the, the entire possession down, held the ball by himself, made a great play. I'd like to see a lot more of that. Long three from Mashburn Jr. left short, and Pope pulling it in. How about Pope off the bench? She's been a spark for Nevada. He has. Lucas keeps it in, and speaking of Pope, they're going to go right to him, but too hard off the glass. That's going to be off of Himes, and it'll be the Lobos' ball. Yeah, that was the right call right there. You know, Nevada, we saw that play that Lucas got his body, 
in the house right here. This, look at that. How far do you have to get just to have a normal pass? Pope with the beautiful finish right there on that one. And Amsel, just too good from the outside. He's been hot. New Mac, Colorado State, they were terrific in that game. Combined, they've taken 20 shots and made just five buckets between Lucas and Blackshear. You know what, like, hits me right now is my old, my old, one of my old friends who's a Pepperdine coach and the Washington coach uh, it told me that it's easy to scout, hard to do live. And when you see something, you can scout this and say, hey, the crowd's going to be crazy. You can say that the elevation is going to be there. You can say that New Mexico is going to, you know, press you and pressure you. But when you get it live like that, it's just a lot harder than what you see on tape. And the road's been pretty tough in general in the Mountain West. But for Nevada, they lost their last road contest at Wyoming in that same week at San Diego State. through Blackshear, but they keep working the ball around, and it's Amsil with the nice chef's kiss to his buddy Jalen House. Lead up to 17 for the Lobos. House all over Lucas today. Muscling in and can't get the roll for Daniel Foster. Lobos will push it and pop in for three. Wow! Jalen House can turn it around. How much fun is this kid having? And how good is he playing? That was a tough shot on the break, and he was under heavy pressure there, leaning in. That's hard to do to lean in like that on a three-point shot, but Jalen House is standing on his business. Well, it's going to be a technical foul on Jalen House for taunting here, and we'll see his reacts to making the three in transition. Oh, that was the tech? I don't know, it just looked like a celebration. I didn't see much there at all. Would not have called that one. Wow. I mean, that just goes to show you the kind of day that Jared Lucas has had. Maybe ball don't lie there. 92% free throw shooter and can't get a roll to go. Knocks down the second. Yeah, I just but thought I'm he was you. I thought he was having fun. I mean, I mean, you know, I don't think he was doing anything to show up the other team, and that's typically when you call that. You saw that it was a Zay Flowers in that football game today. He was on top of a player, you know, really talking through the ball at him. That's the type of play that the refs don't want to see in terms of talking to other guys. Of today that Jalen House loved wrestling growing up. Yes. Kind of being the villain. He's definitely the villain for Nevada right now, but Lucas knocking down a three. I love how much how much energy and height Lucas gets on the jump shot. Just a two for Lucas on the other end. Three attempts coming from Amsil. Amsil's feeling it. <laughs> he is. A little heat check for him right there. Six points as Blackshear was Tripped on the ground. Nevada maintains. Coleman for three. Daniel Foster running in there, trying to grab a board. Doesn't get it, but he's flying all over the court right now for the Wolfpack. Five minutes to go here at the pit. All of those fans can smell another home court victory. Keeps the ball and pulls up for a pretty J. That was on Davidson, too. 6'11", the ball handling skills. And that was something his dad taught him when he was a kid. His dad taught him to shoot the jump shot high like that. He didn't want him to push it like a lot of kids do. And that's why he's so good on those mid-range pull-ups. Such good hang time in the air. It's almost like he's floating sometimes. I'd like to see him just do it again right now. It's just fun to watch him. Coming up for the screen and Dent no look pass to House. Oh. And he realizes he's gonna get fouled, throws it up and makes it. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Was that a two? I think he may have stepped in on the line. It may have been a two, but nevertheless, who cares? This kid is on fire and he is just rolling right now. My goodness. Court awareness, basketball sense. 
He plays the game on fire. Well, and again, yeah, as you said, the reason he got that, the step back created the space. So the defender then had to make up that space. He used that little pump fake, knew he could get to the line. I didn't think he could make the shot. That was the key. 18 points for Jalen House and a 22-point lead for the Lobos. Four game wow. win streak for Look them, and they still five. Another steal for House. Oh my goodness. And he passes it behind his back to Ansel for the finish. This is a highlight reel. He needs to get a highlight reel just for the entire game. Are you kidding me? Wow. The pick six, if you want to call it that. When you get a pick six with this New Mexico team, they just finish. They have so many good players to finish. You're in trouble on the big pick sixes. I feel like I could throw out an NIL opportunity here. Like, get <laughs> get an energy drink for right? Jalen House and just call, like, take it to the house. I love that. Bottle that guy up. Right. I'm telling you. I love it. These fans love it, too. Here at the pit, they are coming in droves. And your sellout tonight. Now, this just has not been the baddest night. They played terrific the other night. That time, two guys in on that, but House gets it. Again, not letting his foot off the gas pedal. 200 Lobo steals. That has a nice ring to it. Biggest lead of the day at 24 right here. Wow, Dent with a beautiful pass and the finish from House. It's a clinic right now. Dent with that pick and roll. He surveyed that entire court, and I think he, he's able to see all five guys, and, and that's why he's so effective on it. Right at the glass, kissing it off, is Amir Robinson. Game for Nevada. Got some points. His dad played college basketball at Indiana with Steve Alford. That's pretty crazy. Oh, I love that move. There's been some really cool connections here on the court, but the Lobos have just taken over and they're showing no mercy. Rightfully so to a Nevada team who's beat them nine straight times coming into the contest tonight. Oh this. my goodness. Look at this. House just relentless. Jalen House. There he goes. Does Look at the travel. Uh, they're oh. going to call a foul on Jalen House there. Yeah, watch this right here. You see Dent surveying. He knew House was on the left, but he brought it back to his right. That got the defense moving the other way. And then this is just great offense. You just, you just jump over a guy and make a little mid range game. Starters out, deep reserves in. It's that time of the night that Richard Bettino can hand out some playing time. And that'll bring the crowd to their feet. What I love about this crowd, it's a smart crowd. And by the way, the gentleman sitting right next to me working for us with FS1 told me that he was at the game where I lost. So this, these fans know what they're talking about. He said he was sitting on the other side of the court, but a very knowledgeable fan base. The show in town, no doubt about it. and adding another three to his night. Baker's going to have some big moments for this team as the season goes on. He will be a key figure coming off the bench for the Lobos. They're doing a substitution timeout to get Jariah Coleman in the game for Nevada. Seven foot one from Anchorage, Alaska. This is only a second Mountain West game. He also logged minutes against Wyoming. They're trying to feed him inside. McIntosh under the hoop. Got pushed out. With 13 on the shot clock, it'll stay with Nevada. Well, we know how hard it is to win on the road in this conference. Nevada now, you know, they, just, they can lick their wounds and say, this is just not our night. The next three out of four, they do have at home. So I think that's an area they obviously got to make a big push as they get those home games. Robinson losing the ball. And how about the Lobos? They are absolutely relentless. Drew Washington. He can get up. A 32-point lead. This crowd loves it, and they'd love nothing more than to cheer Steve Ooh. Alford out of the oh. gym. I thought we were going to see another one right there from Washington. And, you know, you look at Washington, and he's got size. He's a, you know, a lot of the, the stuff goes to the top. Look at that dunk on someone right there. Woo! Just cradled it up. 
It'll be a one and one for McIntosh after Washington picked up the foul. Yeah, as I was going to say, Washington, you know, Toppin has gotten a lot of the praise and a lot of the accolades this year as the freshman for the next one. But Washington, I mean, he'd start on a lot of Mountain West teams. Well, let this be a message to all Mountain West coaches watching out there, and I don't think we need to remind you, but J.T. Toppin did not do a lot tonight. I know. He's one of the best players on that team. That starting five is so deep and has so many different threats. Oh, that's a good point. That's they come at you in waves, as they say, and he's that talented freshman. One Mountain West freshman of the week six times. They're going to have to rename it after him. This crowd feels it. I mean, a 30-point lead. You know what I love right now? We got all the guys in off the bench. Crowd is standing. Every single person up there is standing. Just enjoying it. Block call on Hunter McIntosh. So that will send Washington to the line for one and one. Well, up next for these schools, it's going to get even tougher, right? That's how it always goes in the Mountain West. You get through just, this one, a must say, win, a must win, yeah. you turn turn the page. And for New Mexico, that's a Boise State game on Wednesday night. And then they travel to Wyoming. Talk about that altitude. That's 7,220 feet. Wyoming has been a big-time spoiler. And they've been making some noise for certain. Nevada will head home licking their wounds. They'll have San Jose State next Friday, so they'll have a lot of time to regroup before heading back out on the road at Utah State. Again, Utah State, Boise State went to overtime. Utah State coming out on top of that, and now New Mexico. They're still in the top of the Mountain West Conference after yeah. this win. I, I agree with that. I think they are at the top. I, Steve Alford, you mentioned it. He'll, he'll get back to Reno. They'll figure it out. They'll watch some tape. They may throw this tape away and say, that just wasn't us tonight. Learn from a few things, but, you know, they'll be back at it. Alford, one of the best preparation coaches, I think, in the game. Absolutely. Steve Alford, we mentioned it. He's 93-9 and all-time in this building. So the Lobos are going to hand him his 10th loss ever at the pit. In the pit, yeah. That's a rare one for Steve Alford. I think Alford's the only guy, in this, only person in this gym with a gold medal by this arena. Decorated basketball player, no doubt about it. I always forget that he won that gold in 80, 84 with Jordan and Bobby Knight coaching. Forceland hands it off. Apple Hans for three. The crowd was about to erupt, oh. and they might have that Cheered opportunity again. to do it. Ooh. Washington, a little teardrop. Yeah, he's talented. You're going to see a lot from him as these games continue and into next year. Look at that. Nine points for Washington uh -oh. is steal. And we're just no. going to pull it up. <laughs> That's great sportsmanship right there by Washington. Good Washington. Job by him. No, know what to do at the end of the game right there. Good job, Washington. Wow. Huge win for the Lobos. Statement type win as they have.